So D1 TRX, can we expect that final at Worlds? <laughs> you just said D1. Oh, I said D1 TRX. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, why are you looking at me all weird? Uh, okay, T1 TRX, thank you. Thank you for joining us for another week of Week of Legends. I'm your host, Chobra. Now, after being forged in the flames of the LEC, reaching the semifinals of Worlds with G2, and returning to cast the LCK in both Korean and English, it's none other than the man who tells it like it is. Joining me today, it's going to be Wadid. Hi everyone, Wadid here, and I'm here with English again. Hey, English fans. Let's talk about that a little bit. You started, you know, you came back to Korea, you had a chance to analyze LCK in Korean a bit, and then we saw you on the English cast and you've been killing it. Because of the COVID-19 issue, uh, one caster couldn't uh, come into the Korea, so mm -hmm. I was kind of helping them and they were like, oh, you're pretty good, so you can keep trying. I don't think that my English is that good enough to cast, but I'm just keep trying my best and trying to learn English. Listen, as someone who's also commentated at some point, not as well as you, but mm. in both languages, yeah. the fact that you can do it is impressive and the English fans love your commentary. I, I mean, I hope so, you know, I'm trying my best, you know, so yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to having fun and try to give some pros perspective because it's kind of special, you know, mm -hmm. so and mm. I did learn English properly, you know, so it's really hard, but I'm just having fun. Before we get started, LCK Summer, do you think it's looking better? Is there hope? Because I know in the spring you were a little cautious about the LCK. I mean, it should be, you know. After MSC, <laughs> it's kind of doomed, you know. Uh, it feels really bad and it's really hard to talk about, yeah, LCK rotation, yeah, you know, like <laughs> after those kind of doom moments after MSC, so. As a support player yourself, are you excited to see some more action uh, from the support role or do you really think it, it still needs to change overall for the LCK? I mean obviously I'm a support player and I am still looking up to play again mm -hmm. so I feel really great and especially last night it was effort playing Rakan yeah. even though he was not a main meta right now so yeah, he, he played so <laughs> good so uh, I loved it and all the support players are like performing well and good on stage. It kind of motivates me to like play again and improve myself. Yeah, I, you know, I was watching the opening week and we did have quite a bit of action even from week one. Mm. So here are our favorite top five plays from the very first week of the LCK Summer Split. At number five. Yeah, I remember this game. Yeah, I mean, Dom one's ahead to begin with, but Showmaker, just no mercy. Yeah, I mean, I don't think this is like highlights. It's more like demolish moment top five on YouTube, you know? Like, Showmaker is having fun, and yeah, I mean, I think Dawn is actually really strong and they're having fun. That's the point, you know? This is true. I mean, you see it right here. Showmaker's just, it, there's a whole other fight going on, and oh, Showmaker yeah. just gets his own kill, takes his time. Like, he was talking about, no, no, don't kill, don't kill. I'm gonna get this kill. Oh, go, 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 go! So if you kill, I'm just, I will run it down to me. So. Like it was really impressive. Yeah, well he, he cleans up the fight and Damod of course continue on to absolutely demolish the game. In number four. Wait, wait. This is top four, right? It, 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 oh man. It is top four. This is disaster, man. I, I remember this moment. I mean, if they focused on one target, then they could win it so easily. But how not like esports right now is like, they're so struggling, man. Like, how? <laughs> they, they do leave everyone open. But yeah. Mickey also dances around. Yeah, I, I mean, give him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, that's true. I mean, there were teleports and there, I mean, they collapsed on both sides as five men. So, I mean, that's a good part, but. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Hanwha should have had more kills. For number three. And it looks like DRX yeah, is happy to I can see Aphelios with that, so I can already see the future. You know? <laughs> He's gonna one-shot everyone. Is, it, is that how it, it just has to work out? Yeah, I mean, that's the champion, you know? So should we focus on player or the champion? I think it's more about champion, you know? It, for sure he played good, but okay. all the time when I see Aphelios, he one-shots everyone. The, it you know? is true, because I mean, we look at Dev, he's at full health, and then he just decides to turn around and suddenly T1. I, 
All at half health, and there they go! I mean, look at it! It got nerfed, by the way. Nice nerf, Riot. Good job. Making it to number two. Over though, is there's the Vega Inferno Bomb effort taking so much damage from the Carrion spot of that. absolutely carried this game. Who can think that like you can just dash in to three men and just hit oh, oh, this is just pure art out, out of joy? Yeah, tears of joy. I mean, it's just crazy. I mean, he misses that stun, but it doesn't matter. Right after that, he decides to just one behind this team fight, you know? Yeah, it looks like T1's getting away. They're like, okay, yeah. we'll reset the fight. So, so beautiful, beautiful, man. I'm crying. As bar player. <laughs> and the best play of the week, Mystic saves the day with Aphelios. Yeah, man, he literally saved uh, Africa Priest right here, by the way. So, yeah. is this another case where it's Aphelios or is it Mystic? Uh, I mean, I think this time around it was more Mystic because he could actually get one shot here. I mean, you can see, like, Doctam with Isra, he was just one uniting this team fight before this moment, you know, like, and he missed his health! He literally wanted me, and like, oh my goodness. I think it's more about that fence right now. <laughs> that's, that's true. But Mystic, I mean, he had a pentakill in the beginning of the week, and then he saves the day again for a freak of freaks. Yeah, I mean, that's just crazy how he decides to just walk into Foreman as Aphelis, by the way. I and mean, maybe that champion and that item is just way too OP, but that decides things, you know? Like, he decides to walk in and carry the game. I also want to talk about Curry, mm. the new support player debuting for T1. Debuts at low park for the LCK and then picks Blitzcrank <laughs> game one. I, now, what's your take? I'll, I'll just leave the floor open. What's your take? Did Curry perform for a debut match? I mean, I think he did really great job when we think about it. Like, he is trying to play uh, and support for Faker and Teddy, those kind of legendary yeah. players. Yeah, at low park for the first time. And he had to pick Blitzcrank there because like it was just right pick at the right moment. So mm -hmm. I think even though he kind of uh, had the hard time at game two, still he got the game one and he was the part of the win. So I think it's still great for Curry and really great start off for him. You obviously are very familiar with pressure of different stages and different oh, yeah. events. Do you still remember your debut match? Yeah, completely. Because I had to play against Ben and Mithy when they were just stomping in Europe. Oh, oh, during their heydays. Yeah. I mean, well, let's ask first. Were you happy with your debut match? No, not at all. Like, I had to play Zyra for the first match and I completely... I got stomped, you know? So it was just a disaster. Or the bad thoughts are just coming into my brain oh. and like... Yeah, it was really rough, but yeah, I mean, compared to that, from my experience, Curry did really great job on he, his he death won. match, you know? He didn't, he didn't get yeah, stopped. I mean, he that's won. true, you know? So that's why, you know, I know that pressure when it comes to, like, death match and, like, yeah, it's just crazy. Okay, so Curry did pretty good, has a lot of hope, but effort still the king of supports for T1. I mean, still he has potential and... Yeah, he still has so many time because he's young, you know? <laughs> very, very true, very yeah. true. Of course, to really find out, we are going to have to move on with the summer split. Let's take a look at the Week 2 matches. Coming up in Week 2, we have another full set of 10 matches. Mm. And what sticks out to you the most, Wadid? I think it's mostly focused on Africa Freaks matches, you know? Mm. Uh, especially when they play against T1 yeah. and DRX. Very, very good teams. Of course, T1 did falter to DRX, but DRX now 2-0, kicking off against T1 and Gen G. Africa Freaks also 2-0 after week one. Yeah, exactly. And also T1 showed up that they are still like defending champion, you know? so. Uh, it, it will be really interesting to watch their first match at the uh, Friday and after that DRX, Africa Freaks, they're 2-0-2-0 but maybe after T1 match Africa Freaks will have like lose or something Ooh. but we'll see you know so that's why those two matches are like kind of spotlighting you know. Yeah, I think, I think you're right. Freak of Freaks kind of being the headline of week two. Of course, Team Dynamics will be continuing against uh, perhaps uh, what we might consider a bit of an easier time in week oh. two against Solo One Prince and Hanhua. I, I mean, Team Dynamics has some time to build up into full form. Yeah, I mean, they already feel like they are top five team in LCK, <laughs> you know? 
already I think we're seeing that if we have so much to talk about week two, hmm. the summer split is looking good for oh, LCK. Yeah. I mean, it's, I'm already having fun, you know? And having fun while you're working is just good, you know? <laughs> like, I'm working, you know? It, that's true. Maybe it feels like a bit rough, but I'm really having fun. Those storylines story and players, like, having fun and having really great uh, experiences and performances, it's, like, it's just so good to watch. Has anything changed, especially since LCK kind of got stomped at the MSC? I mean, I think LCK is changing really in a good way because compared to Spring Split, um, I was kind of mad, yeah, because they were always trying to not fight and just try to go to the late game for the safe safety. But yeah, I mean, it sounds a bit weird, but I'm pretty happy that we got stomped in MSC. Uh, because we can learn it and we can stomp LPL or all the other reasons that wars we still have chance you know and it was pretty good lesson that we uh, better in, in the I'm sorry just <laughs> well thanks for spending time with us with you I mean thanks for having me it was another great experience for me to have these kind of talk shows in English too I loved hearing your thoughts and of course I look forward to your cast both in Korean and in English, the split. If you want to hear more from Adid, make sure you check out the LCK cast every Saturday. If you like this week's episode of Week of Legends, be sure to smash that like button. And for everything LCK, subscribe right here on T1 Fighting. We also want to hear who your favorite support players are to watch, so be sure to leave a comment down below. We'll see you next week.